CNN's anchor Soledad O'Brien had an exclusive look at the King Papers, never before revealed Martin Luther King's private writings. In an interview with Diversity Inc., she tells us what she thinks about MLK and this documentary. The ultimate message is that the work of Martin Luther King Jr. is as relevant today as it was when he was knee-deep in the civil rights movement back in the late 50s and 60s. The collection features 7,000 papers written by King, including drafts of his 1963 I Have a Dream speech. To have the actual literal, literal physical document, to see it's on loose leaf paper, line, both sides, I mean, that to me was, was extraordinary because it was so ordinary. Here you have a man who really was a man of the people writing the most incredible things that would move the nation in a certain direction. Nearly 40 years after his voice was silenced by an assassin's bullet, the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. continue to inspire a nation. I have been reading to my daughter, who's six, mm -hmm. um, some of Letter from Birmingham Jail, yeah, which has been really yeah. fun. And, you know, obviously she's six years old. We're not reading the whole letter, but there's mm -hmm. certain parts. And it's at an age where, at least here in New York, uh, preschoolers and kindergartners mm -hmm. are learning about Martin Luther King and learning about, you know, what it means for people to respect each other. From a preacher in Montgomery, Alabama, to an international civil and human rights icon, the values on which King based his life are some from which we are all still learning. I think it's lessons about tolerance, lessons about sacrifice. You know, you really understand what a lot of people did to give African Americans the right to vote. You understand um, the risks a lot of people took. That every time they march across a bridge, they could be killed. Uh, you know, the bravery and understanding. People had a really good sense of what they were what they were fighting for. And you'd hate to think, wow, and people just toss away the right to vote. And it was so tough to win for a lot of people.